Live from the YouTube studios in Culver City, California, it's The Surfing Monkey Show with your host, me, David Yuri. And me, Thomas Rounds. What's happening? Now, you're probably wondering, why are we in a jungle? I, I was wondering that. Why are we in a jungle? Well, Thomas, <laughs> we wanted to bring our pal, the surfing monkey, into his natural habitat to right. make him feel comfortable, more at ease. Right. He's been really calm and peaceful. Yeah. I mean, you can see it on his face. It he reminds just... him of his home where he grew it up. Does. In a shop in Tijuana, Mexico. Yes, where it's very similar to the air-conditioned fake jungle climate. And across the street from the shop where he was purchased, there was a donkey that was painted like a zebra. What? Whoa. For photographs. Talk about gender benders. <laughs> Were we talking about gender benders? <laughs> oh! Today, we're well, going to talk about bad auditions. Bad audition experiences and bad auditions. Yeah, because we've both had our fair share. And for me, they tend to haunt me. Like, I, I feel like I have, like, bad audition stress disorder. Wow. They'll, they'll come and replay, you know, in my mind what happened in the <laughs> audition. Yes. I find myself a lot of times <clears throat> doing lines from old auditions from years ago, like like Pirates of the Caribbean 1 from like 2004. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just be driving around and suddenly I find myself going, maybe we should divide it just to so we're ready when the time comes. Like, the, <laughs> like you nailed it. I yeah, finally nailed it. I got it. <laughs> like, maybe I'll make it into the deleted scenes after all. Uh, I need to read with glasses now. Right, I go into an audition. You're very old. I am. I'm, yeah, he's I admit old. it. <laughs> I go into this audition last week, and I kind of had it down, but I asked, uh, you mind if I have my glasses on? And usually they say, no, go ahead. But this time the casting director was like, well, I'd rather you not take them on and put them off. So yeah. if you could do it without them, that would be great. And I was like, oh, well, I think I got the scene down. And yeah. Of course, I didn't have, didn't the, scene have down. the scene down. I was trying to look down at this blurry piece of paper, <laughs> at these blurry words, and I just was doing the most... he's too old to read them. <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> he is, he's getting old. And so it was like a really flat, stupid read. And at the end of so it... So you just asked her if you could do it again. No, I didn't. I looked up at the end of it, and she goes, eh. She kind of did that. And I was like, oh, is that good? Is that good when they do that? <laughs> probably not. Which is when you should probably say, excuse me, you know what, let, let me do it again, because I, it's blurry, I can't right. read the words of it, I think I got it now. Can I do it again? <laughs> right. right. It's but, your, you can do that. Yeah, but it's hard. It's hard to do. It's hard to do that. Because you don't want to sound like a needy actor. Right, and, and so, like the acting teachers, and you take these classes, and they often say, take control of your audition. Right, it's your time. Yeah, but Thomas right. and I have both been doing this for over a decade, and both of us have a hard time doing that sometimes. If you don't know the casting person that well, or you're just, you know, it, it's very hard to feel like you can just say, wait, 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 stop. No. Right. No, 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 no. Well, maybe we with need to less do... attitude than that. <laughs> well, but, you know. <laughs> like, I had an audition yesterday that has been haunting me. Because I went in there, I was totally prepared. It was for a movie. It was direct to the directors and producers. So everybody's in there. Wow. They have a reader reading lines with me. And it started off swimmingly. It was going very well. It was in character. And then we get to this section where the reader just skips a bunch of lines that were in my script and does one line. And I get all confused and I'm waiting for the other lines and she's waiting for me. And I'm looking at my script and she looks at hers and she looks at me and she's like this. And I'm like, this is you know, like, it felt like minutes were passing, and I was sitting there, and I'm like, man, this is really awkward. I should just be saying my line right now instead of just sitting here waiting for her to say her line, because this is my audition, not her. So really, but <laughs> while that's going on, everybody's kind of looking around, and then finally I went on with the scene, and then, then the scene ended, and I'm thinking, I need to say... Excuse me, I got a little tied up because I was expecting the reader to read these lines. Right. I didn't say it. Right. I just was like, uh, I don't know. Uh, and then you're out the door. As soon as I'm out the door, I was kicking myself. I was like, why uh, didn't I just say it? I thought, should I call them? Should right. I, should I? Because the thing is, sometimes they give you a couple of cracks at it. You know, two or three cracks at the, right. at the scene. If they like what you're doing or if they think they're interested in you. They'll say, oh, well, try it like this and see how you take direction right, and stuff. that's it. I thought I was going to get another right. crack at it anyway. Right. And then when they just said, okay, David, thank you, 
then I felt like, oh, well, now it's That's too late go, for wow. me to say. That was... Wait, wait. But there was, but see what happened was that then, and so I was waiting for her and just, but she was, that was my audition. <laughs> hey! Is that already? Come on. That was a fabulous It was a episode. fabulous show. If only you knew the things that went into making this show. <laughs> yes. So join us again next time in our usual locale. Right. We're not going to become all highfalutin now no. just because we worked in the studio. Yeah, we're just going to be like mid-faluting. <laughs> yes, mid, mid-faluting would mid be. Mid-faluting. So... <laughs> <laughs> Remember, take control of your audition. Yeah, and take control of your lives. I'm right. David Urey. Wow, I'm Thomas Rounds. Bye-bye. Bye. Thomas Rounds, David Urey, Surfing Monkey Show. You just might learn something about yourself, but on second thought, I really don't think so.